rock walls. Rock walls for miles. Just got a first good signal out with Kevin. One of Kevin's permissions. Brett, too many hobbies. And Mike from Massachusetts. Nice little collaboration hunt. Beautiful Saturday. What a lucky, what a lucky winter, huh? This is the end of February in New England. Just got a, looking for that home site. We just got a piece of a spoon or a fork or it's the handle. Look at that, it looks pewter too. We're gonna keep going, following this rock wall. See what else we can come up with. Yeah, my first ox knob. That rang up beautiful. Awesome. I'm excited to have that. It's funny when you find your first anything, you know, that's on your bucket list. And uh, being in Rhode Island, Connecticut, Massachusetts area, those being the areas I hunt, these are pretty common. But, uh, you know, certain bucket listers can be elusive for people. And this thing, uh, it's my first, and I haven't been able to find one. I mean, ox, ox and shoes, horseshoes, they're, they're, they're everywhere in places like this. But, uh, the ox knob was elusive there for a few years. We got one now. We're working around this hole now. Well, the wall. That's the cart path in. A lot of signals in here. Road. We started making our way down the cart road all the way to a river. We were hoping we could cross it, but there was no, no way to cross, so we've been hunting the, the road and coming up to these holes like this and the rock walls and uh, finding a whole bunch of stuff. Just pulled a, a rains guide out in perfect condition. That is awesome. I'm gonna tackle inside here, go nice and slow. Cause this is, I mean, as you can imagine, it's loaded with iron. Look. Yeah? Mike's pulling modern nails. As you can imagine, the amount of iron, there's junk everywhere. But if you go nice and slow, oh, this is this is leather. That's that's some old leather right there. How cool is that with the hole still in it? Oh, there's more of it. That is awesome. I mean, you're at places like this, right? And it's all overgrown now. But imagine when this was a field and that ox knob was on the ox and this rain guide was on a carriage. And it's amazing to think about. That's why I do this stuff. We got a nice 15 right here, even with the leaves gone. Let's see what we got. A lot of signals around this hole. We got a beautiful lantern part. Look at that, the knob. I'll clean that up at home. I might be able to get some information off of it. It's pretty caked up right now. But uh, you know, this is pretty much a surface find. <laughs> it's only like maybe an inch deep. So here's all this leather that I've been digging out from underneath these leaves. Right there, there's the buckle. How cool is that, huh? All this leather, at one point, was probably attached to that. Man, that is incredible. Love it. <laughs> Talk about a story, huh? Wow. This is probably hey, we're gonna do a quick wrap up. I, uh, I lost everybody. I headed that way towards a wall that I saw and uh, I don't know where anyone is anymore. But it was an awesome day. We'll do a quick wrap up, show you what we got. So we got a couple rains guides. Those are awesome to always keep. Nice big buckle. Uh, the leather is in my pouch. I got some leather to go with it. That's the pewter spoon fork handle. Lantern knob, those are always awesome. Most of the time you can get some details off that to actually date it. And my find of the day which my bucket list item 
is the ox knob. So very excited about that. It was an awesome hunt. Beautiful day out here for the end of February. Rock walls everywhere. Foundation uh, cellar holes everywhere. Awesome. We will see you on the next one. Take care. Everyone cheers. We hit 2K. 2,000 subscribers. Uh, I want to say thank you. I re really appreciate it. You know, me and my dad going out every weekend digging holes and you guys following us around. Some great collab hunts like today with Kevin and Brett and Mike up in Connecticut. That was, a, that was an awesome hunt as well. So we're going to do a 2K giveaway. Let me flip you around and show you what we're doing. So we got a quest, uh, uh, <laughs> we got a set of quest uh, wild wire free headphones if you have the dais or the orcs the puck will slide in if not they are very comfortable over the ear headphones for any metal detector comes with the wire that will accept eight eight inch or quarter inch like i said very soft and very comfortable headphones um and from sure grip we have the coil stiffener for the equinox with the extended bolt and nut and a battery port charging cover from also from jim at uh, SureGrip. So if you want in, just be a subscriber and comment below. And like I said, everyone, thank you for the support. Appreciate you guys following us around on these uh, crazy hunts.